Okay guys, it's me, John, from Journey Ride Along channel. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand and it's Sukhumvit area. It's the Sukhumvit 11 and my hotel is just behind there, behind me. I like where I'm staying but the area is more pricey, not local price. But, you know, it's so affordable if you're from, if you're traveling here, but yeah, it's not going to be like under a dollar for everything. But pretty much I walk out and then I'm near the Sky Train, so that's probably why everything, condos and stuff, if it's near the Sky Train, it costs more. See, and delivery drivers, where when they deliver food, they're always on the motorcycle. It's not like in America where you deliver food and everything you're on um, a regular vehicle right regular vehicles they only do ride share or pick up people I asked a driver the other day and there's two like there's 7-eleven everywhere like I'll probably go into one again today and I think what I want to do today is try out uh, MK and stuff and if you eat in restaurants it's pricier than food courts but yeah a lot of as you see there's a lot of there's a lot of tourists in this area because it's near the sky train so Sukhumvit and Tongla and everything but it's a popular area for tourists selling a lot of random things but the walkway is so small you got to be careful of the streets and I realized you need these tote bags because if you're gonna be buying things you can put them all in there so locals usually have a tote bag with them all right I got in already I'm at the Nana station BTS there's so many lines oh my goodness I'm using a mic but yeah it can be noisy on the street and I'm just paying for one way and there's a day pass it might be 150 baht and you can just use I think it's only one line like you know you go to Siam, Nana, Mochit like you can access like all the popular night markets locations by just sky trains because if you you can order a car it's more expensive like you know you have a driver pick you up so it's really easy to just take the sky train but foreigners like I've seen people like call a car a driver all the time because it is convenient and you don't have to like navigate all right I I got off the train already yeah it was too crowded to film while I rode the train right now and it was just one stop for me to come here I am back at this mall, Terminal 21. I come here every day. It's either 7-Eleven or just food court stuff. And this is because it's one stop from where I am. I think I get, okay. Another thing is I need to change my, the undergarment I purchased, like the panty TMI, because I am like, <laughs> yeah, they see, the mall in America, like they don't check for weapons or anything, but you have to go through one here. Okay, let me go upstairs. I'm trying to exchange my TMI, the panty, because they measured me, and I am like supposedly like an L here, and still I think to be more comfortable, I'm like an XL, so. Pretty much I'm like, what, American size? I can't believe they're like panty, it's like really small. But like the bra is like accurate, but not the panty. I never told you guys, their theme is kind of like, uh, kind of like a, um, an airport. So every level, it's like, oh, level one or two terminal, that's why they're called like Terminal 21. So their theme is kind of like, the airport and everything and okay I'm gonna go see the menu because if I tell my friends like you know who has been to Thailand they'll be like oh my god they miss MK so today I'm gonna see what 
set they have and everything and then try that out. I never like literally just sat at a normal restaurant except one time because I was like trying to get to this massage place nearby so I went to MK Gold and they didn't have like the hot pot set and it was like really expensive for like for Thailand which was like 14 bucks but it was me and my mom so it's still like okay wait do they have that special set actually there's English I shouldn't did it in, in English because I'm just guessing things <laughs> so I ordered this small vegetable set and um, let's see what I ordered let me see if I can see the pictures oh yeah so pretty much I ordered this it was 200 baht so it's under ten dollars for just a vegetable you can order things individually too like that and then I ordered see they even have like duck and everything and I ordered the soup let me show you after but I think I got the two flavored soup I think I just got this one so I hope that's good enough for me and my mom it's a Hokkaido variety set it should be about 700 something baht so maybe almost $20 for two people yeah so you can order things individually too so there's some menu but then it's cool how last time I came and it wasn't like you order things like on the screen yeah I ordered this it's a Hokkaido miso soup and the spicy tonkatsu soup look at that MK original looks like just bland like water or something oh look our little vegetable set is here they even sell their sauces but here's the sauces they give you butter to put in the soup so I don't know how that's gonna turn out and their ice water it's a thing here where they put like lemongrass and stuff so <laughs> I am such a noob and people are like looking at me like how do you not know how to order MK it's like the popular thing here okay my meat set has arrived and I decided to put the the butter in there just cuz if they recommend it then why not I really like this is the spicy tonkatsu one it's like if you're on the flavorful side and even this one it doesn't say it's spicy but it's like a good miso like there's a kick of a little bit of spice as well mm. I have no idea if it's like already ready or not <laughs> can't miss these sauces I do like their meat it's like soft and everything I think this is really worth it for under 20 US dollars <laughs> the, the restroom here and look you get a city view when you come to the restroom so just a few, just a few stalls. Exit, but 
but it's not. It's a 10 minutes walk and I asked the tuk tuk how much it would be. And they said 100 baht, which is actually like just three bucks. But I think that's too pricey for, you know, just like a, a 10 minute walk. That means they would be driving just like, I don't know, four minutes or so. But let's see how much further. I don't think this is it, but there's a lot of local foods. Sometimes like yeah, it's cheap and everything, but it all adds up. Someone's also I don't see like too much food though. There's like clothing. Let me just take a look at this. Let me touch it. It's cute. Is this like really all to it? But it is something to do. At least I found it. I was like gonna give up halfway. 
Oh my gosh, look at this like what's this baby shark shirt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's two eighty baht. So it's all under ten dollars. Oh look at that Chinese New Year outfits. Oh it says no recording. <laughs> There's a picture that says you cannot record. Are more things gonna open up later or there's more in there or what? There's like a golden puppy statue, a huge one over here. Okay, well let's go check indoors. I should at least try the papaya salad, but I don't want to risk, you know, stomach problems with the spicy food. I actually can handle spicy, but it's like, oh, that ice cream looks good. I kind of want some. Lots of place to sit at least, unlike the, I, you know my favorite so far, the weekend um, for shopping and stuff, it's probably Jatuchak. And this is like a pharmaceutical, I guess. You can get like basically a lot of things. What is this? A lucky box? For like 88 baht. Fabulous. Oh, it's like a sleep mask, a mystery box, or a watch. So it's a mystery box. Alright, <laughs> so yeah, pretty much the indoors is just a lot of food, ramen, so I had that differently at this night market. Hmm. Like more things are opening. Oh. more socks over here I'm not going to be able to do it. 
get some MK <laughs> All right guys, so I took a grab just now to come to where my hotel is back in Sukhumvit area and then I'm of course I have to stop at 7-eleven like every single night before I go back to my hotel room you know they were like there were vendors selling like weed or something I have no idea like in a jar <laughs> and I just knew too that it was illegal here Okay, let's go just get something in 7-Eleven and call it. I got this pink drink um, it's like milk with condensed milk and uh, regular milk for about a dollar ish for the large this size it's a routine before I go back to my hotel room to buy these snacks and drinks from 7-eleven so if, if I'm hungry or feeling snacky because I had such a big meal but I know I'll be hungry later tonight got that food that I showed you they warm it up for you for, for about a dollar ish I feel bad for the grab driver because there, there was a huge traffic on the way here it took like 40 minutes yeah and this is the rest of my food in here it's that fish thing and rice Hundred seventy-two, seventy-one, two hundred and seventy-one baht. So that's under ten dollars. And we're just gonna walk back to my hotel, and that would be it. I really want to take a sip, but I don't want to, you know not pay attention while I'm walking on this busy street. Tuk Tuk was gonna charge me a hundred baht to like just go like four minutes to that night market earlier. The grab ride charged me 182 baht for an air-conditioned pollution-free ride back to my hotel. Basically, I thought I had to put my card in here, but you don't need to. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you're going down? Um, you guys Americans are friendly like I am not you know well I guess in Asia you know people are more kept to themselves but I like how like Americans are like oh hi well it is the line of a smile and everything and I am Thai but I went to America when I was a toddler you know I don't have my Thai citizenship anymore so I'm just on a US passport yeah, you can get this room off the the web and everything. When I got my hotel, it was in October for my January trip. I don't think you can see anything at... Yeah, basically you gotta kind of see it through there. So I don't really have a view or anything, but I am very happy with... I love the blanket and everything. The Sukhumvit area. You know, you know our yeah you guys i like how they give um did they give me a new they didn't give me a roll there on the bed <laughs> i was like did they give me some <laughs> they give me a robe uh-huh my uh, oh <laughs> my room is so messy like yeah so okay let me see let me drink the pink drink it's really hot right now. The they warmed it up nice and hot, but I'm not like that hungry. If I get the small size, thirty five baht, so that's a dollar. When I exchange my money, every hundred or every dollar, it is the first time I came. I exchanged five hundred dollars. It was thirty five points, around sixty nine point seventy. Then the next time it was like point twenty or something. It went down a little bit to thirty four baht per U S dollar. But then at the Usulk station, a lot of people were lined up. One dollar gets you about thirty-five dollars and twenty cents. So if something's like thirty-five baht, that means it costs a dollar. Wow, it's good. I should have filmed when he made it so quick. The staff at the Seven Eleven would be the cashier, and they would also make the drink. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming to watch this video. Please give it a thumbs up to support the channel, or if you like this video. I will see you in the next video guys.